This just in, Roblox hates all of its developers and wants them all to die. Ah, uh, I have proof. All right, I've been grinding my gears for a while, but I saw Hasm tweet about it. So now I feel like I have the go ahead to uh, complain. I feel like you validated oh. all my complaints and possible threats I'm gonna make in this video. So thank you, Hasm. I am so frustrated that I have to submit takedown requests for games every month. And he's uh, referring to this game, Please Donate But Infinite Robux, which has 13,000 players. And this has 21,000 players, the original game. This tweet's been up for a couple days now, and uh, the game is still there. It, it had a lot more players late, earlier today. I think I nuked out of the algorithm, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's all just stolen assets. Yeah, Roblox continues to recommend these stolen games to its users, making the problem worse. Yeah, they do that. They do that so much. Roblox just promotes stolen things. Also, what's the point of this game? You donate fake money to people oh wait it's real money now what it's a scam please don't this is fake all this is fake why are you here whoa that did nothing oh this is my robux down here this is so stupid you still have to buy money if you want to make a big donation why are you here you're collecting fake money do you know you're at the wrong game anyways that's completely besides the point it's crazy that Hasm is one of roblox's like biggest he has one of roblox's biggest games and he has to tweet publicly about this to actually try to you know get something done about it yeah and any copyright takedown isn't effective um the games keep coming back under different accounts if you kill one they multiply you just hatched their egg yeah obviously no accusations here ever but um it almost feels like roblox wants your game to be stolen so there can be more versions of it for people to play and spend money on like that technically helps them there's so many of these please donate but with fake robux <laughs> Oh god. I tried I tried to mock it by panting, but I choked on my own <coughs> my own spit. Oh my god, it's really happening. It's really happening right now. Oh my god. Dude, there's so many of these going off. Feels like we're being uh feels like a giant terrorist attack. Oh my god, it, it literally is. It's it is a nuke. A nuke? I'm Please donate. All right, guys, we're gonna go down in the history books. They've eradicated all of us. This is awesome. People are role playing, getting a like a donation. So dumb. You know, stories like this uh, get way sadder though. You remember Pokemon Brick Bronze? How they had to change their name to Lumion Legacy because you know Pokemon came in and uh, threatened to sue them if they didn't change their game or whatever. So Lumion Legacy has 400 players right now. The re-uploads of Pokemon Brick Bronze have, look, 3,000 players on one of them. It has, like, 10 times the amount of players that the new Lumion Legacy has. Like, that must suck. You see, you are you get, like, threatened with a lawsuit over your game, and then people just re-upload it and make money off your work and get way more players than you. And Roblox does nothing. This has been up all day. It's been up for a week. If they take it down, they just re-upload it because they have data storage. I hope it's the Lumion Legacy guys re-uploading it. I know it, it's not because that'd be illegal, but you'd like to think that they're getting all the money from it. Yeah, I counted all the visits from uh, all these Brookhaven- There's a frog in my throat. I counted all the visits from all these Brookhaven games with stolen copies and uh, 156 million visits. So uh, it's like hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, this is Brookhaven, though, the biggest game that probably doesn't matter that much to them. But the original creator of Ragdoll Engine uh, probably wants to actually kill. Um, he'd be justified if he killed a lot of people. I don't mean that. 1.6 billion views. He has uh, a lot of visits on his original Ragdoll Engine game. It's privated. His account is deleted permanently. And people have just been uh, like 150 million visits on this game. Uh, that's just Ragdoll Engine. This game, 500 million visits on just Ragdoll Engine. And uh, interestingly enough, this is that conglomerate of uh, Roblox uh, Chinese developers that, you know, there's a lot of stolen games in here. The people who make all these games, uh, and like so many of them are just stolen. They got 500 million visits on just stealing a game. Are they in cahoots with Roblox or something? Because they've stolen one of my friend's games and uh, nothing really came of it. I think if I made Ragdoll Engine and then saw all this happening, I think that would make me do something insane. I think I would, uh, I think I'd take a flight to China, uh, specifically to Wii Games office. Because that's just billions of visits and millions of dollars, uh, kind of just stolen. Like, 
Yeah, yeah, actually just stolen. I think for some reason he couldn't uh, devex his Robux, so he went over to the Roblox black market and um, ordered a bunch of items and sold them for USD. It's kind of insane that other people can make money off his creation, even though he couldn't for whatever reason. What I'm saying is uh, <laughs> Roblox doesn't care. I think you could get rid of homelessness if you teach all of them uh, how to make, how to just re-upload Ragdoll Engine and Brookhaven copy. I think we can solve this crisis. Look. <laughs> Dude, the first one on most engaging is Brookhaven. They just could promote these. This isn't even it. So how would they put this on most engaging? They just started putting in the algorithm because it said Brookhaven. Oh yeah, my character is a pregnant woman. Um, I don't know if I've acknowledged that. You know what's even worse is uh, kind of like when someone doesn't steal your game, but they just steal your whole flow and then uh, run off with it. I see a lot of that happening. I think the most the saddest case of this is this guy, RC games support this guy's games because uh some of you might have played these he made those experience games like those short uh horror story type games and uh people just keep copying him and making their games look exactly like his to try to get players off of like this this zwifty guy completely robbed his whole flow word for word, bar for bar. just the classic like uh this type of face he was doing and then he made all those games look like his and titled it like his to try to to, like leech players off of and this guy's even worse extreme funds like te uh technically this guy can't prove that they uh like maybe they technically didn't like steal anything but i mean this is pretty blatant what you're doing here and they just kind of like piss out these uh random experience games that you know are like lesser versions of this person's and you know it waters it down that happened to these guys too uh they had their own style and people watered it down you know technically that's not not as bad as, uh, you know, actually, uh, illegally stealing someone's game and files and stuff. If I was Rico Miller, I'd want to take, take a, a flight, flight to, to wherever Zwifty Studios and Extreme Fun's headquarters are and shake their hand. I'm not encouraging that. I, I want to shake your hand. I want to shake your hand, Extreme Fun. Dude, this is that that is so uh that thing that happened on RDC. Tim Builder's fighting the police. I wanna shake his hand! We love it when we're having fun, having fun together, joking and playing games, talking with our friends. This game sucks! Sorry, Extreme Funds. I hate you. Yo, guys, I'm not trying to stir the pot or anything. I just saw this tweet and, you know, I wanted to provide more evidence behind it type vibe. You know, maybe this will spread uh, awareness or something and maybe they'll uh, they'll fix it right up as they always do. Roblox always fixes everything. <laughs>